American football culture, right? And basically what the issue is with our cultural interpretation of the game. And I'm going to use 4v4 or 5v5 futsal to kind of explain it, but everything I'm saying applies to the 11s game, right? And so if, if your game model, if your understanding of the game is linear, as in you just got to be bigger, stronger, faster, and more technical than the other team, produce star players, right? Then what you're going to optimize for is reception of the ball. And you're going to spread out. And so that, that in this case, it looks like a diamond formation. And you're going to move away from the ball. So that's the most egregious sort of spread out. Or it see has more aggressive, right? And then you can rely on the ball carry to get you the ball. Sort of so-called positional play. And the more spread out you can be off the ball, the more you can optimize for receiving the ball, the more you can isolate the, uh, the other team. And then the more you can overload, starting from these very, very spread out positions like Chelsea, right? So far away from the pivot or the ball carrier. And they're going to dominate you because they got 30 guys who are all big, strong, fast, technical, right? And they try and mismatch you at every position. And so that's, that's what's happening. Your view of the game is linear. Not that it's wrong, right? But... The first thing you have to consider is what are the performance deviations in each phase of the game, right? So all things being equal, both teams are attacking teams, right? How much better is the other team than I am? As far as we can tell, we can identify five standard deviations from completely random performance to complete domination. And you can see there that, you know, if you're completely dominant, you're going to be able to make a pass through the defender to the number nine, right? So if you understand how much better you are than the other team, all things being equal, both teams being attacking teams, right? Then you can set up accordingly. You can do this diamond. You can do the box, which is square support overload, right? You can do a big, big diamond, include the goalkeeper in your attack. There's the box, right? And this is how the English play. This is how they learn the game. Square support, overload, right? That should be very familiar. Always first, second balls, 